Section. Introduction. The recent surge of interest in vision transformers, or VITs, has caused a noticeable impact in the world of computer vision, with improvements observed in a variety of areas like image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation. What sets VITs apart from convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, is their capacity to effectively learn both local and global patterns within images and scale successfully to larger datasets and model sizes. What's more, recent developments have revealed that VITs can be used in self-supervised learning tasks, like masked image modeling, which can significantly enhance the effectiveness of subsequent applications. However, there's a downside. Without what's known as inductive bias, VITs may require more data for training, which could affect performance. One solution to this issue is to combine both CNN and VIT components in a hybrid model, thereby achieving competitive results without relying on large training datasets or other complex techniques such as knowledge distillation. A crucial component of VITs is the self-attention mechanism, which models both short and long-range spatial dependencies. But there's a catch. This mechanism carries a significant computational load, which can be problematic for handling high-resolution images. Additionally, unlike the original VIT model, which uses the same feature resolution throughout without downsampling, models that learn feature representations at multiple scales usually perform better, especially for downstream applications like detection and segmentation. The SWIN transformer was proposed to address these issues by introducing a multi-scale architecture. Here, self-attention is computed in localized windows and window shifting is used to allow different regions to interact. But it wasn't a complete solution. Due to the limited receptive field of local regions and the small coverage area of window shifting, modeling long-range spatial dependencies becomes challenging, particularly for large-resolution input features. Another issue arises when using self-attention blocks early on in the process, as this can impact image throughput due to the increased number of local windows. An attempt was made to rectify these issues with the SWIN Transformer V2, which made improvements to the self-attention mechanism. However, while it offered some enhancements, it still had limitations in image throughput compared to the original SWIN transformer, and relied on the same window shifting mechanism, which was found to be less effective for large images. To tackle these challenges, we've proposed a new hybrid model called Faster VIT. This model is specifically designed for high-resolution images while maintaining fast image throughput. Faster VIT consists of four stages. In each stage, the resolution of the input image is gradually reduced using a stridded convolutional layer, and the number of feature maps is double. Our approach involves using residual convolutional blocks in the early, high-resolution stages of the model, and then applying transformer blocks in later stages. This strategy allows for the quick creation of high-level tokens that can be processed further with transformer-based blocks. For each transformer block, we employ a mix of local and, newly proposed, hierarchical attention blocks to capture both short and long-range spatial dependencies and model interactions between different windows. Specifically, our hierarchical attention mechanism creates carrier tokens as a summary of each local window and models interactions between these regions effectively. This mechanism grows nearly linearly with image resolution, as the number of regions increases, making it an efficient way of capturing long-range information for large input features. We have thoroughly tested the effectiveness of the faster VIT model on a variety of image tasks and datasets, including ImageNet-1K for image classification, MS Coco for object detection and instance segmentation, and AID-20K for semantic segmentation. Faster VIT achieved state-of-the-art performance in terms of both performance and image throughput. Moreover, to demonstrate the scalability of Faster VIT for larger datasets, we pre-trained a model on the ImageNet-21K dataset and achieved leading performance when fine-tuning and evaluating on larger scale resolutions. To sum up our work, we have introduced Faster VIT, a new hybrid vision transformer architecture that balances performance and image throughput. Designed the hierarchical attention module to efficiently model interactions between local regions and capture long-range spatial dependencies. Shown that Faster VIT can achieve new state-of-the-art metrics in terms of image throughput and accuracy, and is significantly faster than comparable VIT-based architectures. This translates into significant speed-up compared to recent state-of-the-art models. Demonstrated that faster VIT also performs competitively on downstream tasks of detection and instance segmentation on the MS Coco dataset and semantic segmentation on the AID-20K dataset. Section Summary The introduction discusses the advantages of vision transformers, VITs, in computer vision and their ability to learn uniform local and global representations. However, the lack of inductive bias in pure VIT models may require more training data and impede performance. To address this, hybrid architectures, such as faster VIT, which consist of both CNN and VIT-based components, could achieve competitive performance without needing large-scale training datasets. Faster VIT proposes a novel hybrid architecture. 
that is tailored for high-resolution input images while maintaining a fast image throughput. It achieves state-of-the-art performance on various image tasks and datasets, including ImageNet-1K for image classification, MS Coco for object detection and instance segmentation, and AID-20K dataset for semantic segmentation. Section. Related work. The evolution of vision transformers, which initially sprang from the realm of language processing, provides an excellent example of how attention mechanisms can be effectively applied to image. Patches across various contexts. The simplicity of the architecture and the logic behind vision transformers sparked a flurry of advancements over the past two years. Vision transformers' performance rapidly improved thanks to innovative strategies such as using Knowledge distillation for data-efficient training as done in DET, combining convolution and self-attention for stronger inductive biases in Levit, and enhancing components such as token utilization in T2T bit and local window attention as seen in the SWIN family in CSWIN. However, the expansion of model capacity comes at the cost of increased computational load. Just as we face hurdles in scaling up language models from BERT Large's 0.3 billion parameters to Megatron LM's 8.3 billion and finally to the massive 1.6 trillion parameters of the switch transformer, scaling up vision transformers is equally challenging. Due to the attention-demanding nature of transformers, we need to develop efficient methods for wide-scale deployment. Enhancing the efficiency of vision transformers is an active research area. One approach draws from the efficient deep learning literature to reduce network complexity through techniques like efficient attention, network compression, dynamic inference, operator adaptation, and token manipulations. These methods provide quick speed enhancements for vision transformer models, but they are constrained by the original backbone's accuracy and capacity. Another approach focuses on creating new vision transformer architectures with a specific focus on efficiency. For instance, Efficient Former remodels the transformer block to cater to mobile applications by maintaining consistent dimensions and eliminating superfluous components. This former adapts the computationally intensive transformer into a convolutional equivalent to boost vision efficiency, while CrossVid exploits multi-scale features and uses small, large patchback tokens managed by efficient attention for linear time and memory complexity. Despite the quick progress, making vision transformers more efficient remains a considerable challenge. We aim to further the frontier of faster vision transformers by significantly improving upon existing models. We concentrate on redesigning architecture for increased efficiency, while acknowledging that merging this with acceleration methods such as compression would be a promising avenue for future research. Various efforts have employed global self-attention to gather more contextual data. In the field of natural language processing, Big Bird and Long Former use special tokens to attend to other tokens via a sliding window dense self-attention. In computer vision, Models like EdgeVit, Twins, and Focal Transformer use hierarchical-like attention mechanisms that rely on heuristic token aggregation. Our proposed hierarchical attention differs in three key aspects. Firstly, rather than using a predetermined mechanism to select the global tokens, we suggest learning these tokens by summarizing the role of each region in the input feature space. Secondly, we propose learning token aggregation and propagation mechanisms by computing self-attention among these tokens. Finally, Instead of using dense, dilated self-attention, our proposed method uses local window-based self-attention, resulting in lower computational complexity. Section Summary The use of transformer architecture in vision tasks has led to a quickly evolving literature in the past two years, with various innovations such as knowledge. Distillation, hybridization of convolution and self-attention, and improved token utilization. However, Scaling up vision transformers is a highly challenging task due to the attention-extensive nature of transformers, urging efficiency for pervasive usage. Efforts to boost vid efficiency include cutting down on network complexity and designing new vid architectures with enhanced efficiency as an original design objective, such as efficient former, this former, and crossfit. The proposed hierarchical attention mechanism, HAT, learns carrier tokens via summarizing the role of each region in the input feature space has learnable token aggregation and propagation mechanisms, and uses local window-based self-attention with smaller computational complexity. Section, Faster VIT. Now, let's delve into our Faster VIT architecture, which is specifically designed to offer an excellent balance between speed and accuracy. Our focus is on maximizing efficiency for computer vision tasks on widely used, off-the-shelf hardware such as graphics processing units, GPUs, which are adept at handling parallel computing tasks. For such hardware, Computation involves using CUDA cores and tensor cores, all grouped in sets known as streaming multiprocessors, SMS. These units need to regularly transfer data back and forth for calculations, and the speed at which they can do this, the data movement bandwidth, can impact their performance. Some operations are limited by the speed of these computations, 
we refer to these as math limited. Others are limited by how quickly they can move memory around. These are memory limited. Balancing these two kinds of operations is key to maximizing throughput. When looking at hierarchical vision models, the spatial dimension of the intermediate representation becomes smaller as we process the data. The early stages of these networks often deal with large spatial dimensions but fewer channels, for example, an array with dimensions of 112 by 112 by 64. This makes them memory bound. Consequently, they're better suited for computation heavy operations, such as dense convolution, which is a type of operation that multiplies matrices together to transform the input data. Using operations that are less suited to matrix manipulation, such as nonlinearity, pooling, or batch normalization, would consume more memory and hence should be used sparingly. On the other hand, later stages of the network tend to be math limited and carry out computationally expensive operations. To illustrate this, hierarchical convolutional neural networks, CNNs, often work with feature maps that are 14 by 14 in size and use high dimensional kernels to process this data. This stage can incorporate more complex operations such as layer normalization, squeeze and excitation, or attention, without significantly affecting the overall throughput. With these insights in mind, we've designed a new architecture that's designed to make the most of the strengths of accelerated. Computing hardware, at all stages of processing. Section Summary. The faster VIT architecture is designed to offer a trade-off between accuracy and latency, with a focus on high throughput for computer vision tasks on GPUs. The architecture requires a balance between computation and memory transfer to maximize throughput, with initial layers being memory-bound and later layers being math-limited. The design incorporates insights to benefit all stages of accelerated computing hardware. Section. Architecture. We present a novel architectural design for our model, as depicted in Figure X. The early stages of our model apply convolutional layers that interact with higher resolution data. The latter half of our structure employs unique hierarchical attention layers, which allow the model to spatially reason across the full scope of the feature maps. In developing this architecture, our main focus was optimizing for computation efficiency and data throughput. To achieve this, we've used dense convolutional kernels in the first half of the network and within the downsampling blocks. We've also striven to minimize the use of squeeze and excitation operators and layer normalization, particularly in stages dealing with higher resolution, specifically stages 1 and 2 as these parts of the model tend to be compute intensive. The latter stages, namely stages 3 and 4, also have a propensity to be compute intensive. In these stages, the GPU hardware generally devotes more time to computation rather than memory transfer, which means that the application of multi-head attention won't cause significant slowdowns. Let's now turn our attention to the stem of our architecture. We start with an input image, represented as a three-dimensional matrix with height, width, and three color channels. We transform this image into overlapping patches through two sequential convolutional layers. Each of these layers applies a 3x3 filter across the image, moving two steps at a time, also known as a stride of two. This process effectively maps the patches into a d-dimensional space, generating what we call embedded tokens. Following this, we apply batch normalization to these embedded tokens. After each convolution, we also use the ReLU, rectified linear unit, activation function, which helps introduce non-linearity and control the flow of values through the network. This effectively completes the initial processing stage, turning the raw image input into a manageable and meaningful format that can be further processed by the subsequent layers of our architecture. Section Summary The architecture of the model is optimized for compute and throughput, with convolutional layers in the earlier stages operating on higher resolution and novel hierarchical attention layers in the second half to reason spatially across the entire feature maps. The input image is converted into overlapping patches by two consecutive $3 times $3 convolutional layers, each with a stride of $2, which project them into a $D dimensional embedding. Section. Downsampler blocks. We have structured our faster VIT model around a hierarchical framework, in which the spatial resolution is lessened by half with each stage through a process known as downsampling. This process involves applying a 2D layer normalization to spatial features, then using a convolutional layer with a 3x3 kernel size and a stride of 2. In the first two stages, we utilize blocks of residual convolutions, characterized by dense convolutions and batch normalization. A key feature of our work is the novel implementation of windowed attention. We begin with local windows, similar to those found in the SWIN transformer. From there, we introduce carrier tokens, CTs, which serve to summarize the entire local window. We first apply an attention block to these CTs, enabling the summarization and sharing of global information. 
Next, we combine the local window tokens with the CTs, but each local window can only access its own set of CTs. When we perform self-attention on these combined tokens, we make possible the exchange of local and global information at a reduced cost. This combination of local, windowed, and sub-global, CTs, self-attention forms the basis for our hierarchical attention concept. We can think of CTs as being further grouped into windows and possessing a higher order of carrier tokens. If we assume an input feature map, where the height, width, and number of feature maps are represented by H, W, and D respectively, and we consider H to be equal to W for simplicity. We then split the input feature map into NX and local. Windows. A crucial aspect of our method is the introduction of carrier tokens, CTs, which help extend the attention footprint beyond a local window, but at a reduced cost. To start, we generate CTs by pooling tokens for each window. We also add efficient positional encoding. These pooled tokens essentially summarize their respective local windows. This CT initialization is performed once for each resolution stage. Each local window has a unique set of CTs that undergoes an attention procedure in every hierarchical attention transformer, hat, block. This procedure involves the use of layer normalization, multi-head self-attention, and a two-layer MLP with a JLU activation function. To capture the short long-range spatial information, we compute the interaction between local and carrier tokens. We do this by concatenating local features and CTs, allowing each local window access only to its corresponding CTs. These tokens then go through another set of attention procedures. Afterward, tokens are further separated and used in subsequent hierarchical attention layers. To boost long-shot range interaction, we carry out a process similar to global information propagation at the end of each stage. The final output of each stage is then calculated. We make our multi-head self-attentions token position invariant although the location of features in the spatial dimension is clearly informative. To address this, we add absolute positional bias directly to CTs and local window tokens. We draw inspiration from SWIM v2, embedding absolute 2D token location into feature dimension using a two-layer MLP. We enhance the attention further with log space relative positional bias from SWIM v2, ensuring that the relative position of tokens contribute to shared attention patterns. This approach provides flexibility with image size as the positional encoding is interpolated by the MLP, allowing a trained model to be applied to any input resolution. Our hierarchical attention method splits full attention into local and sub-global, both compressible to two dense attentions. The carrier tokens participate in both attentions and facilitate information exchange, as shown in our attention map comparison. Section Summary Faster VIT uses downsampling blocks to reduce spatial resolution by two between stages, followed by residual convolutional blocks in stage 1 and 2. The paper proposes a novel formulation of window detention, introducing carrier tokens, CTs, that summarize local windows and facilitate local and global information exchange at reduced cost. The attention procedure is iteratively applied for a number of layers in the stage, and the output is computed as a weighted sum of the input and the attention output. Section. Complexity analysis of HAT. Let's delve into the complexity analysis of our method, which we'll call HAT. The efficiency of our approach relies heavily on two main features, i, the separation of attentions and e, restricting local windows to their own carrier tokens or CTs. In general, the complexity of traditional full attention models is proportional to the fourth power of the height of the feature map, h, times the dimension of the feature vectors, v. Now, if we divide the feature map into windows of a certain size, k, and apply a tension mechanism, the complexity is simplified to be proportional to the square of the window size times the square of the feature map height times the dimension of the feature vectors. It's generally understood that windowed attention increases efficiency, but it comes at the cost of losing the ability to interact with features globally. To address this, we introduce a novel approach using carrier tokens, or CTs, that summarize and interact with the entire feature map, compensating for the loss of global communication. Let's say there are L carrier tokens per window. The complexity of the local window then becomes proportional to the sum of the square of the window size and the number of carrier tokens, times the square of the feature map height, times the dimension of the feature vectors. We then apply attention to the carrier tokens, which has a complexity proportional to the square of the ratio of the square of the feature map height to the square of the window size, times the square of the number of carrier tokens, times the dimension of the feature vectors. The total cost of both attentions is then proportional to the sum of three components. 1. The square of the window size times the square of the feature map height times the dimension of the feature vectors. Two the number of carrier tokens times the square of the feature map height times the dimension of the feature vectors, and 3, the 
fourth power of the feature map height divided by the fourth power of the window size times the square of the number of carrier tokens times the dimension of the feature vectors. Another approach to multi-level attention is to allow local attention access to globally subsampled information. For instance, the method called twins takes a subsample of the global feature map and uses it as a key and value for local window attention. This method has a complexity proportional to the sum of two components. One, the square of the window size times the square of the feature map height times the dimension of the feature vectors, and two, the fourth. Power of the feature map height divided by the square of the window size times the dimension of the feature vectors. With a fixed window size, k, and feature map height, h, the difference in complexity between hat and twins methods is proportional to the sum of the number of carrier tokens and the square of the product. Of the feature map height and the number of carrier tokens divided by the fourth power of the window size for hat, and the square of the feature map height divided by the square of the window size for twins. Interestingly, our hat method becomes more efficient as the resolution increases. For instance, for a feature map. Height of 32 and window size of 8, and 4 carrier tokens, the complexity for hat is of the order of 8, while for twins it is of the order of 16. Section Summary The hat approach for attention in neural networks separates attentions and uses carrier tokens to interact over the entire feature map, resulting in a complexity of $O. K squared H squared D plus L H squared D plus frac H carrot 4, K carrot 4, L squared D, dollar. This is more efficient than the twins approach, which subsamples global information and has a complexity of dollar O, K squared H squared D plus frac H carrot 4, K squared D, dollar. Hat is more efficient with higher resolution. For example, for dollar H equals $32, dollar K equals $8, with dollar L equals $4 we get dollar O, 8, dollar for hat whereas dollar $O, 16, dollar for twins. Section, Image Classification. We've been working on image classification tasks, where we've put two different datasets to use, the ImageNet-1K and the ImageNet-21K. The ImageNet-1K dataset is a diverse collection of about 1.2 million training images and 50,000 validation images, spread across 1,000 distinct categories. We gauge the effectiveness of our model by measuring its top one accuracy, which is essentially how often the model's most confident prediction is the correct one. In tandem with ImageNet-1K, we also employ the ImageNet-21K dataset, which is a massive collection of around 14 million images spanning 21,841 different classes. We use this dataset primarily for the initial phase of training, known as pre-training. When it comes to training our model, we use a variant called FasterVit, and we make use of a technique known as the LAM optimizer. We train these models for 300 cycles, or epochs, using a learning rate of 0.005. This learning rate determines how much the model changes in response to the estimated error each time the model weights are updated. Furthermore, we use a total batch size of 4096 across 32 A100 GPUs, which simply means we're feeding the model this number of samples at a time for it to learn from. For enhancing our model's learning process, we follow similar data augmentation techniques as have been used in previous studies. Additionally, we make use of the exponential moving average, EMMA, a method that often proves useful in boosting model performance. Further specifics about our training setup can be found in the appendix. In the case of pre-training on ImageNet 21K, we train the models for 90 epochs with a learning rate of 0.004. Subsequently, we fine-tune the models, that is, further train them on a more specific task, for 60 epochs, with a learning rate reduced to 0.00007. In addition to image classification, we also tackle the tasks of object detection and segmentation. Here, we use the MS Coco dataset and a cascade mask RCNN network architecture with our pre-trained faster VIT models serving as the backbone. We train all models using an Atom W optimizer, beginning with a learning rate of 0.0001, following a schedule that triples the learning rate, and applying a weight decay of 0.05. Weight decay is a regularization technique that prevents the weights from growing too large. We use a batch size of 16 on 8A100 GPS for this phase. Section Summary The authors use the ImageNet-1K dataset for image classification, reporting top 1 accuracy. They also pre-trained their models on the ImageNet-21K dataset and used data augmentation and exponential moving average, EMMA, to improve performance. For detection and segmentation, they fine-tuned a cascade mask RCNN network with pre-trained faster VIT backbones using the MS Coco dataset. Section Semantic segmentation. For our work on semantic segmentation, we used the ADE20K dataset to fine tune an UPERNET network that's supported by a faster VIT backbone, which had 
already been pre-trained. To accomplish this, we use the Atom W optimizer and set the learning rate at 0.00006, weight decay at 0.01, and train the model using a total batch size of 16 across 8A100 GPS. We've compared faster VIT models to a range of other network architectures in the field of image classification. To illustrate this, we've shown their performance differences on the ImageNet 1K dataset in a table. Against Canva based architectures, we've managed to achieve higher accuracy when working under the same processing speed. For instance, our model outperforms Convanex T by a margin of 2.2%. When taking both accuracy and processing speed into account, the faster VIT models noticeably outperform transformer based models, like the Swin Transformers family. Moreover, when compared to hybrid models such as Efficient Former and MaxVit, faster VIT demonstrates a higher processing speed while also achieving better top 1 performance on ImageNet. This trend of latency accuracy trade off is also seen with post training model optimization techniques like Tensor RT. We've also tested the scalability of our proposed model. We initially trained a FASTERVIT4 on the ImageNet 21K dataset and then fine tuned it with various image resolutions on the ImageNet 1K dataset. The results show that, in general, FASTERVIT4 provides a better trade off between accuracy and throughput compared to its counterparts. The table shows that FASTERVIT4 outdoes VIT-L16 significantly, with an improvement of 2.3% on a 384 square resolution, and a throughput that is 15.43% higher. FASTERVIT4 also surpasses SWIN-L on both 224 square and 384 square resolutions, showing improvements of 0.3% and 0.2%. Respectively, while also having a throughput that is 12.07% and 36.40% higher. When compared with Convanext L on the 224 square and 384 square resolutions, faster VIT maintains the same top 1 accuracy while delivering a throughput that is 73.62% and 63.37% higher, respectively. Section Summary The authors use the ADE20K dataset to fine-tune an UperNet network with pre-trained faster VIT backbones for semantic segmentation. They achieved higher accuracy than Conva-based architectures and faster throughput than transformer-based models. Pre-trained FASTERVIT4 outperformed VIT-L16 and SWIN-L on various image resolutions, while having significantly higher throughput. Section. Object Detection and Instance Segmentation. We've conducted rigorous testing and analysis on object detection and instance segmentation, using the MS COCO dataset and the Cascade Mask RCNN network. We found that our faster VIT models excel in striking a balance between accuracy and throughput, surpassing other competitive models. In particular, FASTERVIT4 edged out Convanex B and SWIN B, delivering a 0.2 point and 1 point improvement in box AP, average precision, and a 0.3 point and 1 point improvement in mask AP, average precision. This was achieved while running 15% and 30% faster than these models, respectively. This pattern of high performance was consistent across other variants of faster VIT models. Additionally, we also ran object detection experiments using the FASTERVIT4 model that was pre-trained on the ImageNet 21K dataset and integrated it with the cutting-edge Dino model. The results were impressive, recording a high detection accuracy of 58.7 box AP. This confirms the efficacy of using faster VIT as the backbone for more complex and advanced models. Moving to semantic segmentation, we ran tests with the UperNet network on the AID20K dataset. Similar to our earlier findings, faster VIT models again showed superior performance throughput balance. More specifically, FASTERVIT4 beat SWIN B by 1 point and 0.7 points for single and multiscale inference respectively in terms of MIOU, mean intersection over union, while maintaining a throughput that was about 17% higher. Furthermore, when compared to Convanex B, FASTERVIT4 not only achieved a throughput that was about 7% higher, but also scored 0.4 points higher in MIOU for multiscale inference. Section Summary The paper presents object detection and instance segmentation benchmarks on the MS COCO dataset using the Cascade Mask RCNN network, where faster VIT models outperform other counterparts in terms of accuracy throughput trade-off. The effectiveness of faster VIT as a backbone is further validated in additional object detection experiments with ImageNet 21K pre-trained backbone and the state-of-the-art Dino model. Similarly, in semantic segmentation benchmarks with the UperNet network on the AID20K dataset, faster VIT models show better performance throughput trade-off compared to SWIN B and Convanext B. Section. 
Component-wise study. Let's take a closer look at our study, which we've broken down component by component. The results are summarized in the accompanying table. We explored two distinct scenarios. First, we evaluated how our model would perform if it was trained without a particular component. The second scenario was to assess the impact of disabling a component after the model had already been trained. The first scenario allowed us to understand whether the model could function effectively without a particular component, whereas the second scenario was more about evaluating whether a component played a role in the final model. One of our notable observations was related to adjusting the window resolution to a 14 by 14 size during the third stage. Doing this actually removes the hat component by introducing a completely global window. As a result, we noticed a minor accuracy improvement of 0.1%, but at the expense of a 10% throughput reduction. While this configuration showed an enhanced accuracy, it didn't work well with high resolution, hence the hat component remained necessary. When we took out the hat block from the architecture, we saw a slight accuracy reduction of 0.24% for the retrained model, and a more substantial 1.49% for the post-training study. On the bright side, this came with an 8% throughput enhancement. CT attention, another significant block, caused a significant accuracy decrease of 3.85% when removed after training. The attention bias, another crucial component of our system, led to a 0.31% drop in accuracy when it was not included during retraining. Removing the CT propagation called for pooling and propagating features at each layer. This is similar to what happens with EdgeVit and results in a 7% total inference cost and a slight decrease in accuracy by 0.16%. CT initialization also proved to be critical for the network, causing an accuracy decline of 0.48% when removed after training. Lastly, when we stripped all components and retained only the CNN and windowed vanilla transformer, the accuracy dropped by a minor 0.46%. Section Summary. The paper conducts a component-wise study to evaluate the importance of different components in the architecture. The study shows that removing the hat block results in a decrease in accuracy, while removing the CT attention and CT initialization blocks lead to significant accuracy drops. Changing the window resolution to $14 times $14 in the third stage improves accuracy by dollar plus $0.1 percent dollar but sacrifices 10% of throughput. Section. Attention Maps. We'd like to bring your attention to figure, not provided here, where we display detailed attention maps for the third stage layers of various faster VIT model variants. The attention maps present a resolution of 53 by 53. This is the result of combining 4 by 4 carrier tokens with a 49 by 49 local window-based attention. You'll notice these carrier tokens positioned at the top left of each attention map. Interestingly, we found that all local tokens pay attention to these carrier tokens while also focusing on their own local attention. For further visualizations, please refer to our appendix. Next, let's discuss attention alternatives. Our data in the table, not provided here, illustrates an extensive ablation study we conducted. We aim to demonstrate the efficacy of hierarchical attention tokens, HAT, by replacing all attention layers with attention mechanisms in edge VIT and twins in the third and fourth stages. In every instance, the faster VIT models, equipped with HAT, delivered superior accuracy, sometimes even remarkably so. Although twins manage to have higher throughput thanks to its small kernel size, i.e., kernel size equals 2, this came at a significant cost to its accuracy. The superior performance of HAT can be attributed to its capability to learn and gather information via carrier tokens, CTs, and its direct access to specific CTs within windowed attention. Finally, we implemented HAT as a standalone module that could be integrated seamlessly, much like a plug-and-play device, with the SWIN-T model. Please refer to the relevant table. We found that this adaptation led to improvements in the mean intersection over union, MIOU, and top 1 accuracy on ImageNet classification and A20K segmentation tasks by plus 0.9% and plus 0.4%, respectively. Furthermore, the object detection and instance segmentation tasks on MS Coco also saw enhancements with A plus 0.5 box average precision, AP, and A plus 0.6 mask AP, respectively. These outcomes underscore the potential of HAT as a standalone self attention mechanism. Section Summary. The attention maps of stage 3 layers for different faster VIT model variants have a resolution of 53 by 53, consisting of a concatenation of 4 by 4 carrier tokens and 49 by 49 local window-based attention. All local tokens attend to the carrier tokens in addition to their own local attention. The effectiveness of HAT was validated by replacing all attention layers with attention mechanisms in edge VIT and twins in the third and fourth stages, and faster VIT models with HAT achieved better accuracy. HAT was also employed as a plug-and-play module with SWIN-T model, 
resulting in improved performance on various tasks.